κυρίε και κύριοι, στα ενημερωτικά βίντεο του Συλλόγου Ασθενών με Μικρανία και Κεφαλαγία Ελλάδο, έχουμε την τιμή και τη χαρά να μιλάμε με τον καθηγητή Άλαν Ράποπορτ, ε, ο οποίο έχει έρθει από το Πανεπιστήμιο UCLA στην Καλιφόρνια, είναι πρώην πρόεδρο τη Διεθνού Εταιρεία Κεφαλαγία, του σημαντικότερου επιστημονικού οργάνου για την κεφαλαγία παγκοσμίω και έχει αφιερώσει πολύ μεγάλο κομμάτι τη επιστημονική του καριέρα στην έρευνα για την Μικρανία και τι Κεφαλαγίε. So, Dr. Rappaport, we talked briefly about migraine, about diagnosing migraine, and I'm also glad we discussed vestibular migraine and migraine with aura in our previous videos. So, the next question, the next topic would be treatment. So, first thing, can migraine be treated radically? And second thing, what can a person with a migraine attack do? Or what are the options for a person with a migraine attack do to stop the pain? Well, the simple things that some people like to do is get very quiet, put a cold compress on their head someplace. Some people actually put peas in the freezer or potato slices in a bag in the freezer and just put it on a temple. Um, some people like to walk around, but most people like to lie in bed and be very quiet during, during that period of time, uh, listen to some nice music. Um, and then there are medicines. And uh, very commonly in my country, people have been taking a triptan. Uh, in my country, we have seven triptans that can be taken by mouth. Uh, some by nasal spray and some by injection. And most people in the last 25 years have tried to stop their migraine attack by taking a triptan. Many times it's helpful, sometimes it's not helpful. There are some side effects that it can occur, not usually serious, but if you get some chest discomfort or you uh, get a little bit sleepy, or you feel warm all over, or you get some nausea, it's not pleasant. So some people are concerned about the side effects, but most of the time they're very mild side effects. And then we have some newer drugs that are available. Before, uh, before we talk about newer medications, can we stand, stay to triptans for, for a minute? Yeah. So we, we've had them in Greece like for 30 years now, but still there is a huge perception by some people, including physicians, that these medications can be very dangerous. These medications are too strong and it's, it's wrong to treat migraine with something that strong. So many people never try triptans and some people might have tried triptans but use other type of medications that are not that much effective. So, would you classify triptans uh, in general as uh, medications that should be avoided, or do you think it's like, in most cases, a first-line treatment? I think in every case, they should be a first-line treatment. They're not dangerous. There are very rare cases where people have some terrible thing happen, but triptans have been used millions and millions of times around the world, and Studies have been done looking at how many people can have a heart attack, how many people could have a stroke from it. It's so low that it's lower than in the normal population. And the reason is it's only given to people who are healthy and who have migraine. It's the first drug, maybe not the first, but the first important drug that was approved for migraine specifically and it works on migraine. One of the issues is it does constrict the blood vessels a little bit. So older people or people with high blood pressure or other problems shouldn't be taking it. But if your doctor knows how you're doing and says, I want to try to stop this migraine because it's going to go on for two days, but with the proper treatment, it'll be maybe two hours or three hours at the most, 
or it might be longer, but with a much lower pain intensity. Um, so I never think much at all about giving a tryptan to a younger, healthy person who has migraine. Every single attack should be treated, and it should be treated very early in the attack because tryptans and most of our medicines work better right at the beginning of the attack than three hours later. Okay, so provided that the physician has taken the history and knows the patient and he follows the, he avoids any contraindication, you think that triptans are actually a first line choice? A first line cho choice and very safe in the huge number of people. I, I have almost no patients that have had serious side effects from triptan. Some mild side effects that I mentioned Sure, that can happen with any medication, but any serious side effects? Almost none in my entire history of treating migraine. And before proceeding to the novel generation of anti-migraine drugs, uh, what can we do for patients that the triptans don't work that well? What would be the strategy uh, when a patient gets insufficient relief when using a triptan? So because I'm a specialist, I see patients that have been to other doctors and have had other treatments. I'm not usually the first person to treat them. So when somebody comes in and says, I've tried all the triptans and they don't work on me, I ask them for the specifics. Were the triptans you tried tablets? And they say, almost universally, they say, yes, I tried three triptan tablets. I said, well, we have seven triptan tablets, so you haven't tried them all. But I think the problem is actually that you're not absorbing the medicine. Because one of the things that happens in migraine is the gastrointestinal tract doesn't work very well. So people are nauseated, which means things are coming up this way not going down. For a triptan to be effective, it has to go all the way down into your stomach, through the stomach into your small intestine where it gets absorbed and then starts to work. That doesn't happen if somebody is nauseated or vomiting and they have a, a problem in the gastrointestinal tract. So I say to them, I want to bypass your gastrointestinal tract and give you this medicine either as a nasal spray so it gets absorbed from the nose or as an injection so it gets absorbed from the bloodstream. And I talked to them about that, but only because they told me that the triptans don't work and they only took tablets. There was so the formulation does matter. Oh, it's essential in many patients, not everybody. Most people can take a tablet and get better from a triptan tablet, but a lot of people know. And when they come to me and they say they have failed it, I know that the problem is they haven't absorbed it well. There was once a study where they gave a triptan intravenously and they kept giving a higher dose to patients that weren't getting better. There's always a dose that works, but sometimes it's so high that you could get side effects from it. So I learned from that, that triptans will always work at the right dose and the right way of administering it. Okay, so thank you for sharing your great experience with triptans. I think it will be very helpful for our audience, for Greek migrant patients. Thank you. You're welcome.